Hey, bad girl mystic here. Um, welcome to my new space. <laughs> so for those of you that know, um, we moved. Um, it was unexpected in January. Um, well, no, actually it was February, but, um, flood season had already hit. So we already had to leave our mo our space where we were renting for our motorhome. The one that I share with you with all the redwoods and trees. So I decided to do a brew and bowl with you all. <laughs> Broom, brew and bowl. Um, during, on this lunar eclipse, during Mercury retrograde. Because it was like, why the fuck not? You know, I haven't done one in a long time. And I shared in the last podcast, I have learned to really kind of find the whole Mercury retrograde portal very fruitful and interesting when I focus on the whole theme of redoing, revisiting, um, setting aside Mercury retrograde projects and um, revisiting my whole routine, my whole strategies, what am I choosing, what am I doing, blah, 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 blah. So right now the brew, I already had my coffee, um, but my brew now, because my husband got like a shit ton of, like it was just manna from heaven, um, cases of coconut water with matcha. So this is my afternoon brew. So what I want to share with y'all is in this new space. Um, for those of you who don't know, just a quick catch up. I have mobility issues from the physical effects of CP, TSD, PTSD. Damn. And then I have a TBI. So that's the problem with saying the letters out loud. Anyway, trauma my whole fucking life. Have no awareness of what it's like to live in a body without trauma. So, with that being said, what I share with y'all is my journey, my exploration of doing trauma body different than how the women before me in the generations before me managed it. Being at this moment, um, able to express myself and express my journey and express that I took a choice. I believed I would never be married or have kids. I believe that the chaos that I lived with within and without the, the survivor mode I was in was too chaotic to ever be a parent or, um, share a home with somebody when the dark passenger would arrive. So fast forward, um, coming up on my 58th trip around the sun, started this journey when I was about, well, I'd have to say I started this journey when I read, are you there? God, it's me, Margaret, when I was eight, um, believing that I could choose what I believe on how all this somehow I'm connected to this primordial soup that we're all in. So what does moving have to do with this? And this piece of hair, I'm look at the fuck out of it. There we go. Um, what moving has to do with this is now I'm in a different space. I'm in a different environment. Um, the really cool thing is, is for the first time in my life, I'm in an environment where there's a whole nother level of feeling safe and protected that I've never experienced before. And with anyone who's had any kind of trauma, when things go good, it really freaks you the fuck out. <laughs> Cause you're like, okay, when is that other shoe going to drop? When is that other missile going to hit? When is, you know, the, ang the anxiety and 
crusty my mouth is the focus. So, oh, just FYI, this is my also my my coconut water with matcha. Also do a seaweed snack, just um because I'm not big on like steamed vegetables and so I want to make sure that I get my nutrients in from plants so seaweed's an awesome snack and then coconut water with matcha um why all these things to boost my immune system to give my cells the best health that I can provide at this moment with the resources that I have and that works best with the digestive issues I have going on with a um, mobility issues from circulation, poor circulation, um, from muscle tightness and fascia scarring, fascia boots. So for those of you that know, you know. For those of you that don't know, yeah, it hurts like a motherfucker. The good news is, is that when the doctors gave up on me because of my traumatic brain injury, they were unable to address my pain with painkillers or antidepressants or anti-anxiety meds um, because they were unable to guarantee me. They were uncomfortable giving it to me with a traumatic brain injury. That shows you how much um, there's so little information about traumatic brain injuries. There's so little information about women's health with traumatic brain injury, women's health in fucking general. Um, you know, I, I can rant. I won't. If you know, you know. If you don't, Google. Um, back to the now, though. I'm in a different space. So I was in a motor home, and I had support. I had support. I had gone through the whole thing with my husband. And what it was is that I knew I needed to learn how to trust my body and ground back into my feet and find that balance, that space where I can hold my structure up. And if I'm unable to physically hold my structure up myself, then I needed to use my environment and resources around me to support myself in a gait, a movement that I can sustain without leaning into muscle tension to push, without leaning into that um, that stress jam, like you know, jamming the nervous system up with adrenaline um, and stress hormones. Um, I needed to stop that shit. It was fucking killing me. So I had that all mapped out. And it was great. And I was able to open up my body a lot and open up my muscles a lot. And so now I'm in this bigger space with these fantastic hardwood floors. Oh my God, I love them. Um, being a performer and a dancer, I have just a, a, just a visceral connection with a really good hardwood floor. <laughs> and yoga... So anyway, I, yeah, there's, mm, it gets the creative juices flowing when I walk barefoot on a hardwood floor. Um, there's just muscle memory, muscle memory, muscle memory in through my feet, through connection with the hardwood floor of wonderful creative movements. But more importantly, times where I felt very connected and supported in my body. Um, I used to have directors say, I've never met anybody that was just so happy to be a background player. I, I never auditioned for lead roles. I did a couple of times and it was just so intensely stressful. I never wanted to do it again. Um, what I enjoyed though was being busy. So I didn't have time to hang out with my dark passenger too much. And the other thing was, is I loved the physicality and the movement and the connection I would have with my body when doing a show. And so I started to learn what that felt like. And I started seeking out activities like hiking and walking and um, all different types of dance.